Hey, what's up, networking pros? In today's video, we're gonna talk about these Genie smart Wi-Fi plugs. I got a couple of uh, individual, what they call spot, which are just single outlet and they're Wi-Fi controlled. Then I also got this guy, which is a four port 110 outlet with two USBs, although I don't think you can control the USBs. Now, if you remember from an earlier video I made, I showed you that APC, um, device I had that you could hook up to the network, uh, but that was a hardwired device and a very old device too. I'll leave that link right there in the corner for you. There's a little pop-up there you can click on if you want to go see that one first. Anyway, so I'm going to unbox these guys, see what's inside, see what I can do with them. I'm really excited because they run on Wi-Fi, which will make them a little bit easier for me to spread around the house. All right, let's start with the Spot 2-pack. Uh, let's see, it says here, Google Assistant, Alexa, that's good if you're into that kind of thing. I'm slowly getting into Google Assistant. Uh, start your coffee pot from anywhere. Okay, great, so I'm assuming it's a cloud-based thing. Shows simple instructions, no hub. That's actually kind of a common theme with a lot of these things now is that no hub kind of uh, install. You just need Wi-Fi. bigger than I thought they were. Somehow in my head I kind of envisioned them maybe only being a maybe an inch or a little less in diameter. They're actually about yeah, maybe almost two inches. So a little bit more obnoxious than I thought, but if they do the trick, maybe I can overlook that. I'm assuming this has got something to do with connecting to the Wi-Fi. Let's see what we get. We got a um, some kind of a contact us here and follow us on our different social channels and we've got um, smart Wi-Fi plug quick start guide all right that's good we all like quick start guides right because no one wants to read lengthy lengthy instructions all right and voice control now this was the one I told you earlier that it's got the Google Assistant Alexa and Cortana which is Microsoft so I guess this is going to be all about setting up for uh, voice control. Okay, that's good. All right, so this will have to go on the wall and then the device that I want to control will go in here and looks like there's some setup stuff so we're going to go do that next. All right, we're going to set one of these up. Um, just going to take an outlet and plug it in. You'll need a mobile device with the Genie app loaded on it. So you'll need a mobile device that's got um, the Genie app. And then once this plugs in, you should see the green little power light come on, and then you'll see the little um, uh, blue Wi-Fi light come on. And then what you do in the app, you go to Smart Power. It asks you, is the device plugged in and flashing quickly? Um, that's actually slowly. Let me try rebooting it. If you want to reset it, what you can do is you just hold the power in for five seconds, and you'll hear it click. And then after it clicks, it reboots. Okay, so now it's rebooting. Okay, now it's flashing quickly. Okay, so I say yes, it's flashing quickly. All right, and then give the you, it wants you to fill in your Wi-Fi information, but because I did this already, it's got the Wi-Fi information in from the last time I did this. Click confirm. And then it says to have your phone as close to the device as possible. Um, I don't know if that means because it's communicating over Bluetooth or... Because if it's communicated over Wi-Fi, it really shouldn't matter how close together they are. Anyway, so what I found from doing the last one is that if this countdown to 100%, say, takes more than a minute, then it's not working and you have to switch to what they call the AP mode. So based on what I'm seeing here, this probably isn't going to work. So let's just wait for this to finish. I'll show you the error message and then I'll show you how to switch into AP mode. All right, so that didn't work, and that was my experience last time. So you have to do what's called AP mode. So when you put AP mode, what happens is it, then the wizard looks the same, but it's saying, is it flashing slowly? This is actually not considered slowly. This is two times per second. So what you can do is you can either try unplugging it and plugging it back in and see if it starts flashing with a slow cadence, which that's not, or you can hold in the power button for five seconds and you'll hear it click and then it reboots or actually 
Yeah, okay, so let's see now if it starts going slow. Okay, so now it's flashing slow. So tell my wizard, yes, it's flashing slowly. And then what it does is you have to go, you go past the Wi-Fi screen and then it tells you to go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings and choose either Genie or Mercury SSID. So I'm just going to take my phone, navigate over real quick to where the Wi-Fi settings are, and I should see a new SSID that I don't normally, Genie 368D. So choose that one. Let it connect. There's no password as far as I know. And then now go back to my app and say, okay, go. And so now it's connecting. Well, it's trying to connect. So basically the first time we tried it, it was a it was an attempt via Wi-Fi through my Wi-Fi network. Um, but this time I'm actually should be communicating directly with the device. Yeah, see there it just went pretty quick. All right, and say done, and that's it. So um, I don't have a lamp or anything here to show you, but I don't know if you can hear it click on the microphone. So if I hit, if I turn on, okay, if I turn, so that's on, that's off, that's on, that's off. And this even works through the web. So you see how I got my Wi-Fi turned on? If I go here and turn my Wi-Fi off, all right, so now, now I'm in, um, I'm actually just using my, my Verizon LTE signal. I'm still, I'm going through the cloud now. Maybe a little bit slower, but still not bad. You see how the power light's changing over here? And that's it. So I'm thinking this would be pretty cool to put on certain appliances that I want to be able to control remotely. And next, let's look at the, uh, the power bar. All right, so this is me unboxing the power strip. I didn't have the sound recording on when I did this, so I'm dubbing over. Anyway, same as the uh, spot. You got your two little inserts for voice and uh, installation, and then the little feedback thing. Now, what I found interesting when I opened up the uh, power bar is that it just seemed bigger than I thought. I guess in my mind, I, I you know, I'm thinking of a standard plug bar, but maybe the mechanisms that control the Wi-Fi and the on-off uh, add that extra space. So and you've got this extra wide spot at the end there for those like wall wart style um, adapters. And um, so we're going to go plug this in and uh, set this up. Okay, so now we're going to do the four porter. And I found this one to be a little bit more tricky. The reason was is because when I first plugged it in, it didn't start flashing and I had to kind of mess with the power button back here and then push this button in a few times. Now it is actually flashing. So if, you, if you're doing this and it doesn't start flashing, a couple things to do. One is try a, pushing this a couple times. The other one is hold this little button in like for, I don't know, five, eight, 10 seconds, something like that. And then, and then unplug it and replug it in. It should start flashing. Okay, so let's see if the process is still the same on the phone. Let's go to the phone and let's see, I do the plus sign. And I'm going to do, oh, we've got to turn on my Wi-Fi. Turn on my Wi-Fi. Okay, so smart power. And yes, it's flashing quickly. So click that. It still has the Wi-Fi information from last time. And then if this goes quickly, we're in good shape. If it doesn't, I might have to revert to the um, AP mode like I did on the uh, spot plug that I just did a minute ago. All right, as predicted, that didn't work. So now I'm gonna to switch to the AP mode like I did on the other one. And then the trick is, how do I get this to flash slowly now? Can I just hold the button in? Does that do anything? No, I'm still going flat, fast. Let's try to turn it off, turn it back on. Let's try holding the button in again. Hmm. Ah, now it's finally flashing slowly. Okay, so it's finally flashing slowly. I'm going to be candid with you. I don't know how I got it to that point. It was just a series of unplugging and replugging and different button presses. So now it should work a little better this time because I've had more success. Oh, got to switch over my Wi-Fi and switch to um, got to switch to my Wi-Fi to do the um, Mercury. Where is this? And go to different Wi-Fi. There's Genie. Okay, got Genie. 
All right, let's go back to the app. Okay, let's see how this works. Now we quit flashing. I don't know if that's good or bad. I well, guess it was good. All right, now here's what I want to see. What does this look like? Oh, look at that. Look at that. You can even power on and off the USB. I didn't think that was going to be possible. So those USB ports down there at the end, apparently you can power those on and off. Very cool. All right, so there you have it. Um, that is connecting that piece. Glad we uh, experimented with it because it certainly wasn't that easy. All right, well, thanks for watching.